Wales, we just get the first team underway. The first section is live content. Uh, we have any recording device to have those on um, flight mode, please. And, uh, and we just get people to sit down there whenever. And we'll get underway with head coach and notice as the team for the weekend. Thank you. Uh, the team to start against Argentina is Ken Healy, Roy Best, captain, Tyke Furlong, James Ryan and uh, Ian Henderson, Peter O'Mahony, Sean O'Brien and CJ Stander, Connor Murray, Jonathan Sexton, Jacob Stockdale, Bundy Aki, Chris Farrell, Adam Byrne and uh, Rob Carney. And on the bench, uh, James Tracy, Dave Kilcoyne, John Ryan, Devin Toner, Reese Ruddock, Luke McGrath, Ian Keatley, and Andrew Conway. Uh, he's got a slight hamstring strain. Um, Yo, know, I, I think he, at a push, he he, he could have been uh, he could have potentially been involved. Um, but you know, it, it, it should see him fine for the, what's coming up. He's got a busy period coming up, and uh, really, this window for us was an opportunity to to see how guys go in pressure situations. Chris acquitted himself uh, pretty well last week, and he got better as the game went on. So it's it's another window of opportunity for him. Um, not really. It was uh, with with all the wingers that we brought in. We wanted to have a look at how they trained and and how they fitted in. And uh, he's given us the confidence to to include him because he's he's worked really hard. He, he, he's picking things up all the time, um, you know. And I, I think with uh, a bit of experience in that back line uh, around him, uh, I'm really uh, I'm really hopeful he he gets a, a good first hit out in an Irish jersey. I think whenever you come into such a, a a tough arena and they've got the the attacking threats that they do have, uh, Buffelli has come, you know, kind of out of nowhere and, and is a real threat. Tukalet we played against last time and and we know how good he is. And then if it's Moyano, he, he's been going really well as well uh, on the wing. Or if it's uh, Moroni, th there's there's a host of threats out there. So it, it will be a really challenging day for those outside backs, uh, Adam and Jacob. I think between those four, out to four of those five outside backs, I think they have five caps between them. Joe, how significant is it the, the new blood coming into the team, and have you noticed that the dynamic change over the last kind of few weeks in camp? Um, not, not really, because it's it's been a longer progression than that. I, I think there's been, you know, I, I don't know, it's it's up over 30 <laughs> new caps since uh, since the Rugby World Cup, so. During that period of time, there's there's always been new blood coming in. Um, it was a little bit exaggerated over the summer with the uh, British and Irish Lions away and and a lot of guys coming in that were new, and we left some of the uh, elder statesmen out just to allow us to get to know some of those guys. And, and we've done the same in this period as well, uh, just to make sure that that we cast the net reasonably wide. And in terms of right, do you see this as a growth match? Not at all. If we're if we're looking two years backwards, how how, how do we go forwards? Um, yeah, you know, we're looking we're really looking forward to the game and the weekend, and then we're looking forward to what we learn from that, so we can keep progressing. I think there's a real danger in in looking too far back. I, I don't know. There's there's not that many guys from that match that are that are involved. You know, maybe half a dozen um, in that starting group. So. I, I think for us, it's it's just about trying to to get a bit of cohesion. There are some new combinations, and and we'll be a lot more focused on ourselves than on the on the Argentinians. Did you feel though, perhaps years ago, that you've got something to prove then against Argentina? There is that element there. Not, not really. I think they are much changed as well. I, I just mentioned Buffelli and and. Uh, and Moyano, they, they they went in that game, and um, I I, th I think their back row could be quite different as well with Lazana. He's been really impressive at eight, and Kramer's been really impressive at seven. If those two play, 
Um, and even if it is, uh, you know, Senatore who, who was there, I, I, I think it's just another it's just another game that we've got to try to get as much out of as we can because, you know, then we're getting tight for time and we come into Six Nations and we, we want to try to uh, we want to try to be up and running before the Six Nations comes up because that's that's going to be incredibly tough. Even looking across the results, particularly Scotland's performance, uh, maybe not quite the result, but certainly their performance was outstanding last week. Um, England uh, ha have been flexing their muscles over the last 18, 20 months with uh, 21 out of 22 victories. So, you know, and, and you've got the unpredictability of the French and... Um, and Wales will want to build. They put a very young side out against Georgia. It'll be really interesting to see how they go this week against uh, against the All Blacks. James Long, we've seen enough from him. Maybe in training, he's allowed to suggest that he'd be ready for this level. I thought his entry in the South Africa game was really positive. Um, he's he's a good athlete, James. He he commits fully to the task. He's an intelligent uh, young man who has adapted really well to this level thus far. Now, he's only really dipped his toe in so far. To get a start in such a big game, we'll know a little bit more. Um, and, and that's what this whole period is, is about. Peter, anything impressed you, James Lyon? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, young fellas these days are getting quite big. He's a big man. Um, but he's got that, in, uh, he's got that intelligent nose about him and... and, and as Joel said, he gets stuck in when he's when he's asked to, and, and yeah, he's been he's been quite impressive in training, I must say. We've obviously missed that quarterfinal uh, against Argentina. What would it be like for you to play against them this Yeah, look, it's it's another opportunity, you know, a huge honour to get a, another Irish jersey. It's 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 no different, obviously. You know, it's going to be an incredible challenge against. It's, it always is against Argentina, but it's uh, for every one of us. It's, it's another opportunity to you know to show what we can do. Have you seen uh, Mbappe or Balanty look pretty good after that week? Have you seen Mbappe in the Irish squad since you've come back here? You know, what have you seen? What kind of step forward have you seen from the physical work? You know, we're always looking to improve, and 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 uh, you know, as soon as you stand still in, in this game, you're going to get you're going to get spat out the back. So it's you're always moving on and, and learning and taking lessons forward. And you know, it's an intelligent group I'm playing around, and they know that they know that better than anyone. So. Every opportunity you get is a lesson and a, and a learning, and, and every game we build on them, win, win or lose, you know. Joe, you got to see Marshall Moore back on our trip for the Yeah, I, th I think in the end, you know, uh, it was disappointing to see to see him go. I think he was disappointed at the time. Um, you know, I, I know he, he contacted me and and uh, you know expressed his, his own frustration at, at the way things had panned out. Um, but at the same time, I've stayed in touch with Marty. Uh, it, it'll be good to see him back at Ulster. There'll be real competition for places in Ulster, which will will hopefully drive Marty forward. I think he's he's had two starts this year, and and I think about 200 minutes. So for Marty, it's just about getting back and getting uh, a bit of game rhythm. And uh, we'd love to see him back at the start of next season. Well, again, you know, I, I guess sometimes the grass is always greener and sometimes, you know, we talk about the player management, so, sometimes it's about trying to get uh, established somewhere else. You know, they have a history in the province they, they're in or they have a history here in Ireland, someone like Andrew Conway or Felix Jones who went to another province, they have... Uh, you know, I, I, I suppose establish themselves a little bit. When you go somewhere completely new, you, you've got to start from scratch a little bit, and and that's just a little bit tougher because there are already established people there, and they already have their combinations. And to try to force your way in somewhere, sometimes to get that uh, that continuity of games is is quite difficult. And you know, there's the other extreme, obviously, that with Johnny, where you know he, he played he played twelve in a row. New Zealand, you think he'll make a success of the down there? Uh, look, I know he's driven to. Um, he, uh, and I think the Crusaders environment is a fantastic environment to go uh, to go into. Um, Scott Robertson was was at the game uh, against South Africa, and and he's excited about getting 
getting Roger down there and, and at the same time I, I think that's reciprocated by Roger's excitement and I, I think it's a great environment. They're obviously the Super Rugby champions and um, I'd say he will, uh, he, will, he will get some learnings there that hopefully he brings back um, to Ireland and, and, and the future. Okay, screenshot there. Thank you.